children. Hey there, this is Miss Low, and welcome to our lesson on how to read bucket drum music. This is also a quick guide to help you prepare for your judo bucket drum belt journey. Are you ready? Let's go. Here are the parts of a bucket drum music. Whenever you get a piece of bucket drum music, first locate the tempo marking. The higher the number. The faster you play, the lower the number, the slower you play. Next, check out the meter sign, so you can have an idea of the groove of the music you're about to play. The top line indicates that the note or notes you see should be played on the rim of the bucket drum, and the middle line indicates that you should play the note or notes you see on the center of the bucket drum. And the bottom line indicates that you should play the note or notes you see on either side, or sometimes both sides of the bucket drum. And here is an example of measure. This is a measure. So in this example, we have four measures: measure one, measure two, measure three, and measure four. And at the end, we have the double bar with the two dots. And that is called the repeat sign. Whenever you see the repeat sign, you should repeat the sequence all the way from the beginning. Here are the parts of a desktop bucket drum. I know it is a solo cup, but when it is winter or when the weather is not good outside, we will be using the solo cups as our desktop bucket drum. So let's take a look. Here are the sides of the bucket drum, and here is the rim of the bucket drum. And the bottom of the solo cup is the center of our desktop bucket drum. Now let's take a look at these parts on a regular bucket drum. When the weather is nice outside, we will be using the actual buckets. So here are the sides, and here's the rim. And the bottom of the bucket will be the center. Now let's take a look at a bucket drum music for our yellow belt. So in this example, you see that the tempo marking is 120, so pretty fast, pretty groovy. And we are in the meter of 4/4, so it's pretty steady. One, two, three, four. And in this measure, let's take a look. What parts will we be using? The first note right here should be played on the center, and the next two eighth notes right here should be played on the rim. But the third beat, these two eighth notes should be played on the center, and the last two eighth notes should be played on the rim again. So as we can see in this piece of music, this pattern is repeated for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight measures. And at the end, we do not have any repeat sign, but we do have a double bar. So as you can see, that this title is "I Feel Good" excerpt. So we're not playing this music from the beginning to the end. So this is only a short excerpt. I hope this has been helpful for you, and I look forward to hear your bucket drum submissions on Flipgrid. I will see you next time. Goodbye, children.